Hello grade 12 students, welcome back to another session on Practical Research 2. Today, we will be exploring the different kinds of variables and their uses. Towards the end of this lesson, learners are expected to differentiate kinds of variables and its uses. Let us now start. How are we going to define a variable? Basically, it is a central concept specifically in quantitative researches. It is also a measurable characteristic that changes in value and it may vary from one group to another group or from one person to another person over time. From its root point vary, which means change, we can actually say that a variable is something that can change its value or it is a concept of more than one value. An example of variable on your respective modules is sex where one can be a female or a male but if the locale of your research is an old old school then sex as a variable won't be applicable and forfeited the best way to understand variables is by identifying its kinds and its uses several experts have lumped together the following as the major kinds of variables we have independent variables dependent variables, intervening or mediating variables, control variables, and confounding variables. Let us discuss them one by one. First is independent variable or the IV as what we are going to call this kind of variable during the course of our research study. Independent variables are those variables that probably cause an influence or affects any outcomes. It is sometimes being called as the treatment, manipulated, antecedent, or predictor variables. To put it in a layman's term, an IEV is actually a cost variable since they are the ones affecting the results of your study. The next one is dependent variable or the DV. Dependent variables or DV are those variables that are actually dependent on your IV. Simply, if we are talking about dependent variables, they are actually the outcome variables or the result variables. To differentiate further IV and DV, let us have this study as an example. In a certain study, a group of students was subjected to aromatherapy using essential oils while reading, and another group read under normal conditions. Then, after a month, both groups took a reading comprehension test. Based on the setup of the study, what do you think is the IV? independent variable of this study is the exposure to aromatherapy using essential oils. This is because the researcher thinks that exposing to aromatherapy could potentially affect the reading comprehension of our respondents. How about the DV? What do you think is the dependent variable of this study? DV is the reading comprehension. The effects on the reading comprehension, whether it positively or negatively impacts the respondent, are the expected results, making it the dependent variable of this study. Independent and dependent variables are the most commonly used kinds of variables in a quantitative research design. But here are the other kinds of variables that you might probably encounter towards the course of your research. Intervening or mediating variables. They are actually kinds of variables that stand between the independent and dependent variables. And they show the effects of the independent variable on the dependent variable. The next one is the control variables. Control variables are special types of independent variables that are measured in a study because they potentially influence the dependent variable. 
these kind of variables are mostly needed during experimental researches. For example, you created a liquid formulation and you want to test it on the plant growth of a certain crop. Say, for example, a pet chai. Your IV is your own developed liquid formulation. The DV, on the other hand, is the plant growth. For us to determine the potential influence, we will provide a control variable, and that control variable should remain unchanged or constant. We could have the following as an example of control variable for the said setup. Say for example, an ordinary water, fertilizer, or pesticide which was usually used by the crop. And lastly, confounding variables. Confounding variables are those that are not actually measured or observed in a study. They exist, but their influence cannot be directly detected in a study. To sum up, here are the kinds of variables. Independent variables, dependent variables, intervening or mediating variables, control variables, and confounding variables. That's it for today's video. Check your Google Classroom and Batch GCs for activity updates. See you in our next lesson.